Tell me about your first meeting with Sebastian and what was his, his pitch to you and your conversations in the beginning? Um, well, I first met Sebastian, this is the fifth film I've done with him. So the first time I met him uh, was in London and it was for Fantastic Woman. And I met him and three and a half weeks later I had to deliver the finished score. So from meeting him to doing demos, approving it, finding the language, recording it, mixing it and orchestrating it and the rest of it was done. And this, this time was a year and a half. So it was a completely different sort of thing. So I had the dailies every, every day. I'd, I'd get copies of what they'd shot that day and start writing already. And just that kind of slow, like spending hours and hours and hours of time with it. So it feels quite like a time machine. I don't suppose you've seen it yet. You probably haven't seen I've it. I've seen it. Oh, have you? I okay. have seen okay. it, yeah. <laughs> I have seen it. Has the process become easier working with him now? Do you have like a shorthand between each other or does it depend on the film and the context? Well, annoyingly, it's getting more complicated as we're going on because we've become friends and so it's hours of phone calls like, how, what are we doing this time? And I can't use the same shtick that I used on him in like film two. He sees through my artifice. And the good thing is as well is like this time he said to me, Matthew, I think we can say for sure no female voices in this film and the film's full of female voices now so it's really great to be able to say to him i think you were wrong and we revisit it and i was like no i, I have a hunch that something was interesting there and we go back and look at it again so that that ability to that ability to uh have an open conversation feels really like that's earned after you know after years of conversation you have that capacity to be honest which is important yeah. you know. and I guess with him as a filmmaker he's so distinctive the way he makes films but all of his stories are very very different that must keep you on your toes in the best possible way that he does that as a filmmaker yeah the last film was Gloria Bell with Julianne Moore which was really um, like a sort of disco thing it's very I mean it's had a serious heart but it has a lightness sort of love poem to his mother in a way and this one's so dark and experimental and overwhelming at times so yeah it's that's what's exciting is you know I wouldn't want to be doing police police academy nine or whatever you know having done police academy one to eight with him I can't make police academy gags anymore because no they don't make the films anymore but you know I don't fast and furious or something like that it's not like it's the, it's not like a formula that you can then revisit or rework or something like that yeah are you looking forward to another one is there plans for for another collaboration down the line yeah, we've been we, yeah we we're working on two already. Um, so yeah, so it's yeah, just exactly. yeah, <laughs> two. Yeah, two more. Exciting. That's very yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for your time, though. Yeah, Absolutely no pleasure talking to you, mate. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.